Up to 700 Israelis dead in Hamas attacks as dozens of warplanes strike Gaza Strip, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has warned people living in Gaza to leave as he vowed to turn parts of the territory into rubble in revenge for a Black Day. Up to 700 Israelis have reportedly died in attacks by Hamas militants as fighting continues and dozens of warplanes attack the Gaza Strip. At least 413 Palestinians are confirmed dead, with a further 2,300 injured, according to the Health Ministry. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has warned people living in Gaza to leave as he vowed to turn parts of the territory into rubble in revenge for a black day. Netanyahu says war will take time, follow live updates. The U.S. military confirmed on Sunday it plans to move Navy ships and military aircraft closer to Israel in a show of support. It is also sending additional support for the Israeli Defense Forces, IDF, which will increase in the coming days, President Joe Biden told Mr. Netanyahu in a phone call, Israel-Hamas war, watch special program on Sky News tonight at 9 p.m. A huge barrage of rockets was launched into southern Israel on Saturday morning before Hamas gunmen crossed into the country in a surprise incursion, one Briton confirmed dead and two missing, Corporal Nathanael Young, a 20-year-old British man serving in the Israeli army, was among those killed as tributes were paid by his heartbroken family. Another British citizen, 26-year-old Jake Marlowe, is missing near Gaza, the country's embassy in the UK has told Sky News, Dan Darlington, who is originally from the UK but has been living in Germany, is also missing on a trip to Israel. Nathanael Young, 20, died on Saturday, the Israel Defense Forces said. It is understood that the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development